In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to flexible budgets and standard costs, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. First question, a variable budget is also called A, changeable budget, B, flexible budget, C, fixed budget, D, normal budget, E, rolling budget. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Variable budget is also called A, a changeable budget. Now that, that sounds like it's changing or changing, so that seems reasonable. I'll keep that for now. B says a flexible budget, and that also implies change within the budget of variance. So that seems reasonable. C says fixed budget. Now that seems like counter terms, variable versus fixed. So those almost seem opposite. So it doesn't seem like that's going to be a similar name. D says normal budget. And we might think, ah, maybe a, a variable budget is normal. And E says a rolling budget. And again, that kind of implies motion. So maybe E, uh, we might think that. So let's go through it again. Variable budget is also called a changeable budget, A, B, a flexible budget, D, a normal budget, or E, a rolling budget. Now of those terms, the rolling budget probably should sound a little bit strange. It's, it's, that has to deal with uh, timing. Uh, so it's not, it's actually not a rolling budget, a changeable budget, although that might be a, a term that could be used, should, it sounds a little bit awkward to me. We don't, it's not usually called a changeable budget. So I don't think that's going to be it. a normal budget or flexible budget of those two. The one that has, that shows change is the flexible budget. And that should sound familiar. The flexible budget. Uh, is the one we're concentrating on here last answer or final answer variable budget is also called b the flexible budget next question which will result in a favorable variance either a actual revenue is greater than budgeted revenue b actual revenue is less than budgeted revenue c Actual net income is less than expected net income. D, actual costs are greater than budgeted costs. E, actual expenses are greater than budgeted expenses. Okay, let's go through this again. Uh, which will result in a favorable variance? Now, when you think of variance, we're thinking about a difference. So here's a difference that's going to happen. We're comparing, in essence, budget to actual. And we're thinking about what's going to be good news and what would be good news if something if if we did we performed better than we budgeted to be that would be a favorable difference that would be good news keeping that in mind let's go through these items a says actual revenue is greater than budgeted revenue well that's good news right <laughs> actual revenue what actually happened is is greater than what we budgeted to happen so that seems like it would be a favorable thing, favorable difference. B says actual revenue is less than the budgeted revenue. Well, if actual revenue, what actually happened is less than we budgeted to happen, that seems not good. That seems unfavorable. So I don't think that's it. C says actual net income is less than expected net income. Well, that's not good. That's unfavorable, you would think. D says actual costs are greater than expected costs. Costs kind of like expenses. So the actual costs, the things we had to pay for, are greater than we thought we had to pay for. That doesn't sound good. And then, so that's unfavorable. And E says actual expenses are greater than budgeted expenses. Again, we're usually talking about costs with this type of analysis, first of all. And two, it's the same kind of thing. Expenses aren't, we don't like expenses. And if the actual expenses are greater than what we budgeted them to be, then that that's not good we're going to say that that's unfavorable and we'll keep it with a here which is the final answer which is that which will result in a favorable variance a actual revenue is greater than budgeted revenue